Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick, open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down. See if you can open a communications channel. The Destiny Ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. You were expecting someone else? We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. Are you really willing to sacrifice human lives to save the Council, Shepard? This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign is a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. The Council must be sacrificed for the greater good. Don't waste your reinforcements. Hold them back until the Citadel arms open up. Save the human fleet to attack Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? Hold off, Joker. We're not sacrificing human lives to save the Council. Keep our ships back until they can get a shot at Sovereign. A sacrifice for the greater good. I only pray it is not made in vain. All Alliance ships, home formation. Wait for a shot at Sovereign. Nothing else matters. I repeat, nothing else matters. Commander, we're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Open a comm channel. This is the Ascension. We are taking heavy damage. Guardian defenses are overwhelmed. Kinetic barriers are offline. Commander, they closed the channel. Make sure he's dead. He's dead. say so. Let's use damping. Let's use overload. Let's use warp. Where is it? Here we are. And he's gonna use something on me. Switching to my assault rifle. That's a better weapon anyways. There he is. Um, 
I think I broke it. I think he's broken. Still losing shields and stuff. This is odd. It's really odd. Uh, not exactly how it's supposed to go. Let's try this. Okay, uh, I may just have to fast forward through this because obviously nothing's happening here. got your message, Ambassador. What's all this about? These are strange times, Captain. The battle with Sovereign changed everything, and we need to talk about what happened to the Council. Commander Shepard did the right thing. We had to hold our fleet back to go after Sovereign. It was the only way. I agree, but this also presents us with an opportunity. The Council is dead. 
The galaxy is looking for leadership. The Citadel fleets were decimated in the attack. Their losses have made the Alliance stronger. If we step forward now, nobody will be able to stop us. The Council was always holding us back. When I saw the opportunity to get rid of them, I took it. Good God, Shepard. How can you even say that? Don't act so surprised, Captain. We all know it's true. Sacrificing the Council assured our victory over Sovereign. The end justified the means. We humans understand that. It's what makes us stronger than the others. What are you saying? The galaxy needs leadership. Real leadership. When a crisis hits, we can't be paralyzed by debate like the old council. The new council must rule with a single voice. It must be assembled from one species alone. Humanity. The rest of the galaxy isn't just going to bow down because we tell them to. We'll need the fleets to bring them in line. The other species are scared. They've never faced anything like this before. They don't know what to do. They want us to step forward. They believe in humanity because of you. Your ruthless pursuit of Saren and the Geth, your defiance of the Council, that's what humans are capable of. That's how we can defeat the Reapers. The others will follow us, Shepard. They know we're their only hope. We will have a human Council with a human chairman. The Ambassador's right. I may not like it, but we can't deny the truth. Given everything you've done, Commander, the Alliance will want to know who you think our Chairman should be. We need someone who understands how politics really works. You've shown you know how to play this game. He is the logical choice. So what happens now? You two can argue politics all you want, but the Reapers are still out there. They are coming, and I'm gonna find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. We're headed for war with the Reapers. If we lose, it's the end of all life as we know it. And no other species in the galaxy truly understands what it will take to survive. The other races will have to follow our lead. We need to take control. It's time for humanity to rise up and seize its destiny. Thanks again for watching, guys. This has been Mass Effect 1. I apologize for a little bug at the end. That's something I've never seen before. I think we may have even lost a cutscene from that bug. But that's alright. Council is defeated. The Reapers have been pushed back. But we all know they're coming. I mean, we all know there's two more games out there, right? Like I said in the m uh finale, there's a lot that's left to come. Mass Effect 1, I believe, has the least polished game of the series. Uh, the other two are amazing. It just gets better and better and better. I think that even if you don't like this game, I think you will love the next game. It's completely changed a lot of things while still maintaining the basic uh, aspects of it that makes it really unique. Uh, maintaining the power wheel, maintaining the ideas of biotics and technology, and a lot of really interesting things. So, uh, this, this series is only going to get better. I've got a lot in plan. I've done a significant amount of planning, seriously. I've, I've spent uh, hours with pen and pencil and computer keyboard 
figuring out exactly what's going to happen throughout the rest of this series. And uh, let's just say I've got a lot of really interesting things in plan for you. I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Mass Effect 2.